All right. All right. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Much love, honor, and respect to all of you guys, man. Like, share, subscribe, ring that bell so that y'all will get all the updates whenever I release video content on this channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den basketball community. Salute to my brother A Weapons. He represent midlife music forever. And let's get into this video this morning, man. Again, I appreciate everybody who show love to the channel, man. If you guys ain't subscribed, hit that subscribe button twice. And on the second time you hit it, you'll see an all button come up. Click that all button. That way you guys will not miss the notifications when I release videos on this channel. Also, if you're a supporter of the channel, man, I ain't talking about just subscribers, I'm talking about supporter. Don't forget to share this video. Uh, on your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and other social medias. Share this video uh, so that uh, the word can be spread around uh, that we're dropping content and that, uh, you know, we're keeping y'all updated with what's going on in these basketball streets. But I come to y'all with some news today, man. Now, I've been telling you guys the last couple of days about the situation with this basketball player. Goes by the name of Kevin Porter Jr. Plays for the uh, Houston Rockets. Uh, this guy... Um, has had a, a rumored trouble past, trouble history, uh, and he ran upon some more trouble recently uh, with this situation with this young lady um, that used to play in the WNBA on the left-hand side of your screen uh, where he allegedly uh, broke her neck and other things, um, punched her repeatedly, and uh, according to reports, he did it. He started to do it while she was in her sleep. According to reports, more, more news is coming out about the situation. Now, here's the part where it's going to make people upset. And I told y'all this yesterday when I spoke with everybody yesterday. I don't think people understood what I was saying when I said that uh, a woman, if, she, uh, if a man uh, puts his hands on her one time, she should leave immediately. And I told y'all that yesterday. And I said, and I said for, to myself and to the people who are my viewers, I don't understand how any woman could stay around and be and deal with the abuse of having somebody put their hands on her like that. I, I just couldn't understand that. I could not understand for the life of me how a woman could just hang around and let a man just, just put, put his hands all on her and stuff like that repeatedly, you know, allegedly, you know what I'm saying? In, in any relationship, I ain't just talking about this because sometimes you hear that. And then some people said in the comment section, oh, well, ticket is out of fear. The woman is afraid. That's the reason why, uh, she won't, um, you know, leave or retaliate or do anything. She's in fear. And so, you know, when you have people that control the woman's mind like that, she won't leave. And I just said, look, you have to find the strength within you to leave when that happens, because if you don't, that may continue to happen. You understand? And that, uh, that introduces a very toxic relationship. You understand? And you just had to have the strength to cut that stuff off. But let me tell y'all this, man. Shout out to my boy King, AK47, Voice of the Streets in here. Salute to you, brother. Um, y'all ain't subscribed to him. Y'all already know what to do. Um, this morning I come to y'all with some new news. He's he's probably gonna get off with this. And I know this is gonna make a lot of people upset. Yesterday, the Houston Rockets made a move that made everybody suspicious of saying, What in the world? Why ain't they just Firing this dude. Why ain't they cutting this dude? Why haven't they already fired this guy? Well, it's hard to fire him if nobody is cooperating. And so the Houston Rockets are currently trying to trade him, uh, which everybody thought was laughable yesterday and was going after the Houston Rockets saying that they're a disgusting organization. Why shouldn't they fire this guy? All of this stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm going to tell y'all something, man. And I'm going to be very honest with y'all, right? I told y'all yesterday that we don't know is no place for a man to put his hands in a solid woman, no place whatsoever. Right. But I also said that if she hit him, she should go to jail too. It's no place for a woman to put her hands on a man. And I told y'all this the last couple of days, because I figured it was something that happened between these two. They probably got a history of just stuff that they got going on in between each other because there's reports that he hit her, he hit his car into her car in the past. All kind of crazy stuff, man. That, that just builds a toxic relationship. But, and then when you heard her sister talk, 
her sister comes, and I heard her sister got her own situation. I heard her sister's a, a widow, allegedly, and that, you know, she had some drama with her, too. But her sister came out talking about what she was going to do to this guy and what was going to happen to this guy when they seen him, like so a street mentality, like we're going to handle this in the streets. Well, today, as I woke up around 530 this morning, and I didn't drop the video because I knew it was too early for you guys. Y'all wouldn't be up at that time yet to see this video. So I'm dropping it now. She's not cooperating with the police. So this dude is probably going to be free. He's probably going to be released. Now, the only way that they're going to be able to prosecute him is if they can get other witnesses and they can get video on this guy. Other than that, that's the only way they can prosecute him without her word. But according to the reports, she is not cooperating with the authorities in this case in, in regards to uh, the alleged assault. She is keeping her mouth shut according to reports now also i told you guys the reports are alleging that he started to uh put hands on her and hurt her while she was in her sleep she had, he apparently had been locked out the room from what the story was saying and got a hotel assistant to help him get back in the room and when he got back in the room they said he started putting hands on her they had already been into some type of i guess disagreement uh before that now, um, it says that she is not implicating him in any way in this in this uh, assault and that uh, it's going to make it hard on the police, uh, you know, to prosecute this guy. It also says that she wants to make it absolutely clear that in any statements attributed to her in this regard are false and she denies them entirely. Her intention is to set the record straight and to make sure that the truth is known, right? This is according to a source close to this woman. She has not made a statement to the police. And y'all, let's get those likes up, man. Let's get over four, 500 likes early in this video. It says that according to the source, she has not made a statement to the police about this incident. Her lawyer has stated that the reports from her side are misleading and inaccurate without providing further details to the New York Post newspaper. It says that the source stated that she has not given any statement to law enforcement and has complained to them about the information being attributed to her as inaccurate. These are not her words, right? It says that her lawyer is saying that uh, on Wednesday morning that she wants to express her deep appreciation for the public support and prayers, much of which has been written in the press attrib attributing statements to her misleading and inaccurate. She has not granted nor released any statements on her own volition. Furthermore, the statement reads that she has everyone to respect her privacy and avoid speculation as to what occurred and refrain from disclosing any misleading statements as to Mr. Kevin Porter Jr. She asked that the press and all officials refrain from any judgment and speculation on this matter, which will be rectified properly and with integrity. Thank you. Porter was arrested around 6.30 a.m. on Monday after a 911 call for an assault at the Millennium Hilton in Midtown, according to the NYPD and police sources. So basically the police were called uh, about an assault that occurred between him and her allegedly. Uh, the police arrived apparently. Uh, she was checked out by the doctors apparently. Uh, it says that she had a broken neck and other injuries. Um, and so now it says she's not going to cooperate against them. So he, the NBA, th this is what we got to talk about right here. The NBA is not going to be able to suspend this guy if they have no evidence against him. The only And he's got a new contract, if I'm not mistaken. He got a new contract. So this is the reason why the Houston Rockets could not just fire him. This is the reason why the NBA could not put him on administrative leave or suspend him. This is why. 
because she's not testifying against him. And if the NBA doesn't have any evidence against him, and remember, he's already beat cases like this before. He got cases in the past where he was alleged to have punched two women, and he beat that. And so now you have the Rockets trying to trade him because they can't release him, because they can't fire him for, for this cause because they ain't got no evidence against him because she ain't testifying. Smash the like button as y'all come on in here. If you support the channel, hit that like button. If y'all want, you get the Cash App PayPal link pinned at the top of the comment section. And if it happened in the room, there will be no uh, video inside of the room. The video will only be in the hallway. So if you see any video of her, it's only going to be of her coming out in the hallway unless it spilled into the hallway, which I truly doubt it did. So if you see video of her in the Millennium Hallway, it's just going to be video of her. You ain't going to see probably him and her getting into it in the hallway. Unless they have a video in the elevator or something where they arguing or something. And trust me, the police looking over all that stuff. But it's not. Listen, if they don't have the evidence, she does not. She's saying they're saying she is not cooperating with the police investigation against him. So she basically standing on business with him. She's standing 10 toes down with this dude after this situation. Now, you had a whole lot of women in the WNBA that went off on this brother online. You had a whole lot of women that was going off on him online the other day. And so now she's shutting all that down. She's saying, no, 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 don't go against him. Right? That's what she's saying. And so uh, the bottom line is, is that uh, the Houston Rockets, um, they can't just release him because they have to pay him. They have to pay him. So the bottom line is this. And, 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 and listen, here's the thing about mutual combat. He had no marks on him from what we see. He had no marks on him. It was no reported marks on him from the police. Nothing. So really, you can't really prove that. You understand what I'm saying? And so I'm just telling y'all this. I, I've always thought that this was a toxic ass relationship back and forth. Uh, that's why I told y'all the other day. I said, yo, she hit him. She need to be locked up, too. This ain't a one way story. But you can't be running around here breaking no girl's neck. Shout out my boy, 7-8 in the building. He said it perfectly. And he's absolutely right. I, mean, I still hope you do a video on this, homie. Still hope you do a video on it because we need to talk. People need to understand about this stuff, man. I said that, bro. And I, I mean that. I said that I mean, and I, I, I appreciate what you just said because I said that yesterday. I said, bro, yeah, uh, they, these two probably been going at it. And I heard that her sister been in that type of stuff. So she might have come from this type of family, bro. You understand what I'm saying? You feel me? So now that she ain't cooperating and ain't saying nothing, that let me know all I need to know. This right here is the end. This right here to me, now that she's not cooperating, I already know what time it is now. I know what time it is. This is this is something, and I don't know if 7-8 will agree with me on this, but this is something that she probably don't want the investigators to dig deep into. Because if they do, they may find the past of them two going at each other. And they may find stuff that these people don't even want public. They just so crazy. They probably had an incident that spilled out in a place that it wasn't supposed to spill out in. I tell you something, man. I told y'all the other day. This probably ain't the first time this happened between them two. And everybody that keep talking about bags, she ain't getting no money from this dude. She's not getting no money from him. You can't say I'm not. She can't not prosecute him. Say he didn't do nothing and then go soon. Y'all not using y'all mind. It's not about that. She going to get the money from him either way because she's going to stay with him. <laughs> so she's going to get the money from him regardless because she's going to stay with him. And the NBA is not going to be able to avoid his contract. They're not. The NBA is not going to be able to avoid his contract. They're not going to be, unless they get him on tape, like the Ray Rice situation, there's nothing the NBA is going to be able to do. Nothing they're going to be able to do. And the police, they can't do nothing. They can't do nothing. Nothing they can do. So they say she's standing on business. They say, y'all smash the light button. They say she ain't going to say nothing. I told y'all this the other day. Go back and listen to my video. The first day we put this out, I told y'all. I said, bro, I said, man, she, I said, I said, listen, man. I said, she probably was hitting him first and putting her hands on him, too. And if she did that, 
she need to take her ass to jail too if they locking him up. And I told y'all that. I told y'all that. But to see, the thing is, is that he didn't have no reported marks, scars, or nothing on him. So it would have been hard to prove unless you got videotape that she put her hands on him versus she got all these marks, a broken neck, and all these cuts on her face and all this other stuff. Well, they're going to ask her where she get that from. You know what I'm saying? And 7 8 ain't never lying. See, oh, see that's why I, yo, this is why I rock with the homie 7 8. 7 8 already know what time it is, bro. It's the money, Lebowski. She can get more money stand with this dude because they, I want y'all to think about this. I want y'all to think about this. Peep this out right here, right? If she get him locked up, the NBA going to take his bread. He just now signed a big deal. Uh, well, I would say 80 million. I think he's on an 80 million dollar contract. If the Houston Rockets were to fire him, he would only get a $15 million payout unless he gets convicted and they have reason to fire him without pay. If he doesn't get convicted, he the NBA can't do nothing. He got to get that money. It, it, hey, it has to be the same way. Because remember, this dude was in other situations in the past with other women, and they alleged that he punched those other women in the face, but they couldn't prove it. So they couldn't do nothing to him. Then he had the incidents in the locker room with the coaches. Well, that's the reason why he got moved. He blew up in Cleveland. Remember, he snapped on the coach in Cleveland in the locker room because they changed his locker. Then he, they say he snapped in Houston on the coach, Steven Salas. You know what I'm saying? Man, father passed away when he when he was young. You know what I'm saying? So he come from y'all. He come from adversity. But what my brother Seven A said, man, the money he getting ready to get. Because remember, she only played in the WNBA one year and they ain't getting no money like that. She played in the WNBA one year. Just the last year, I believe. This dude getting the bread. He, he, he just started, I think, an $80 million contract. So she going to be better with, beside him than, or than even trying to sue him. Because why are you going to try and prosecute him, throw him in jail, and sue him he ain't going to have no money? So the best thing to do is, the best thing to do is, is if you're trying to keep that money, she ain't going to try to hurt his bread. She's not going to try to hurt his bread. He, on 80, he got an $80 million contract. And, he guarantee, and you think the Houston Rockets trying to pay that $15 million this year? Shout out to my boy Greenleaf. 16 million? 16 million. And I'm going with my boy, my boy Greenleaf exclusive. Y'all subscribe to him because Greenleaf, he covered everything for the Houston Rockets. So even though y'all know I'm a G in this basketball shit, Greenleaf know more than me about the Houston Rockets. <laughs> so y'all go subscribe to Greenleaf, man. Straight up. You feel me? So $16 million, he's guaranteed. That's why they're trying to trade him. Everybody was thinking yesterday, why are they trying to trade him? Why don't just fire him? Well, if you cut him right now, because you know this will be a drawn-out situation, if you cut him, you got to pay him. They don't want to pay that money. If we trade him, he's somebody else's problem. But guess what? If he gets off and they can't prove it, he gotta, they got to pay him his contract. He got to get his bread. See what I'm saying? So unless they have witnesses, and unless, and that's the only thing that happened. Shout out to my boy Hugh Wilkinson with the cash app. Salute to my brother. He came through $30 cash app donation in the big bank this morning, man. I appreciate you, my brother. Salute to you and much love to you, bro. I appreciate you supporting the channel. I'm just telling y'all, man. Hey, yo, I knew this shit was going to happen, bro. I knew this was going to happen. I told y'all, bro. And listen, if y'all ask me, go back and listen to my video the other day. I told y'all. I was like, yo, they probably been in a toxic relationship. I said, why a woman don't leave after the first time a man a man put his hands on you? Because you know why? Because she might have been putting her hands on him. It might have been times where she slapped him dead in his face a few times or punched him in the face. We don't even know about. Well, it's probably stuff that they don't even want us to find out about. It's so much stuff that go on in people, 
people households. And the reason why we talk about because it it's public information. But y'all got to understand. You understand what I'm saying? I told y'all this before. And remember, when Stephen A. Smith, and I want y'all to think about this, they ain't touch on this shit on TV. Stephen A. talked about it on his on his, on his his podcast show because that's so far from ESPN. They ain't talk about this on ESPN like that. Not like that. Nah, I ain't seen Stephen A. Smith and them touching on this like that because the last time Stephen A. and them touched on this on national TV, when they talked about the Ray Rice thing, you remember what happened? He said that a woman should not be provoking men and hitting men and provoking men to do stuff. And he and he said it, even though he said it's not right to ever put your hand on no woman, they still suspended him. Shout out to my boy LB in the building. They still suspended that man. Y'all seen the play? Y'all seen what happened, man? It's right there in front of y'all face. It's right there in front of y'all face. So now, this woman, for everybody that's coming in the building right now, y'all like, share, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. She is refusing to testify and cooperate against this man. And she says that you guys should withhold judgment against him because the things that is reported that he have done, she is not testifying against him in this case. In the NBA, this is the reason why y'all haven't seen him take no action. The NBA are probably talking to her representation. The NBA are probably talking to the police. The NBA are probably talking to the hotel. They couldn't get nothing on this guy. I told y'all, when them tapes come out, that's what everything going to be revealed when them tapes come out. And if the tapes ain't got nothing, they damn sure ain't going to say nothing about this dude. The tapes ain't got nothing on him. So she refusing. And she look good, too, man. She look good, too, man. Why? Why? I don't understand, man. Why do good girls got to, why do good looking girls got to be, man? Why does always, man? I don't understand this, man. I really don't, man. I was reading like some allegations about her sister and they said her sister being this type of stuff too. And then I could just, I'm going to tell y'all something, right? I'm going to be very honest with y'all. If I was her sister, I'd be mad too if something happened to my, my family member, my sister, whatever. I could tell by the way she her sister was talking, I could tell they'd be about this shit, man. They'd be about this little life right here. They'd be about it because her sister said the the way her sister said, "You little punk, sissy, finger finger polish, fingernail. We're gonna be waiting at your house. You ain't gonna be able to play ball again. Better yet, walk." I said, "Oh, oh, they in this? Hey, seven eight. I said, "Oh, they in this? They in this for real?" The way she talking, she said, "You better not show back up at the crib." Oh, I said, "Oh." They with this. This ain't no. This ain't no. Um. Oh my gosh! I can't believe it. Nah. Uh. Uh. And we rewind back to the Miles Bridges situation. Remember, when I told y'all that girl from Miles Bridges was acting a damn fool. She was going crazy. They got. They got video on her. That still ain't right. That Miles hit that girl. Allegedly, that he hit her. But they got video on this girl, man. That girl kicking down the door, acting crazy as hell. And I'm glad he got that video. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm just telling y'all this. Bro, we know that. I mean, y'all ain't you acting like you talking to a rookie. Nigga, I said this first. I told y'all this on the show the other day. I told y'all this. I told y'all that, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said, why you think I was saying the other day, if a girl is repeatedly hitting you, just walk away. She could have been, I ain't saying she was, but she could have been repeatedly, allegedly repeatedly hitting this dude multiple times and he got tired and then and snapped. You know what I'm saying? And snapped. You feel me? We just don't know. And she don't want that information to be put out because if there's an investigation, then that y'all know what the police going to do. They're going to check the background. They're going to go check the background and the history of these two. And then it's going to be stuff that come up, maybe that ruins her reputation that she don't want out there. See, y'all ain't think about that. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? And to the dude who said there's no way to get her, her running out covered in blood. Well, sir, she can make up any story. She can make up any story, sir, about what happened in the in, in there. If she don't want to testify against him, 
she could say, oh, I fell down and fell off the bed and hit my, would I hit my head or whatever? She can make up any story. If they don't have the video evidence or physical witness that saw this situation going down, they're not going to have enough evidence to prosecute the dude. I don't told y'all this. He already had been alleged of punching two women before. Did you think he got convicted? Hell no. He was still playing in the NBA. So what y'all think? I keep trying to tell y'all this. Told y'all this yesterday, bro. I told y'all this yesterday, man. Y'all hit that like button. Let's get those likes up to over 500, man, for all the people who support the channel. I ain't talking about the, just the subscribers. I'm talking about the supporters. You know what I'm saying? The people who rock with, with what, we do, what we got going on over here. You know what I'm saying? Right? Uh, to the dude, to the Gemini says she gonna handle KPG her way. He gonna end up missing. No, he ain't. Ain't nothing gonna happen to him. Ain't nothing gonna happen to him. Watch what I tell you. Ain't nothing. Not from her. Maybe from somebody that's mad in her family or something. But not from her. Ain't nothing gonna happen to that dude. Ain't nothing gonna happen to that dude. Matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised you see him back together, man. I, hey, I'll tell y'all the truth. I wouldn't be surprised if you see them two back together in like two months. You see them linked up together somewhere. Where she's supporting him like, hey, baby, I love you, all this other stuff, hanging all over his arm. Hey, man, listen, bro. She ain't cooperating. Straight up. Uh, and, 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 and listen, uh, to see Blue, nobody is ever justifying. Nobody hitting nobody, sir. <laughs> you must not listen to this channel. <laughs> we don't respect that. I don't respect no man hit no woman. And I damn sure don't respect no woman hitting no man. <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking about. We don't, we don't justify any of this stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm just telling y'all this, right? I told y'all this the other day that it was more than me to out of this story. I told y'all that. I said, bro, I don't just believe that, man. Y'all really think I just believe that? What they what the uh what was said? I said, bro, that that woman, I said she need to be in jail too if they find out she hit him first. And she probably don't want information out, allegedly, you know what I'm saying, about the whole situation. Because remember, again, when the when the police do that, they're going to do a deep investigation. When they when the police take it there, they're going to do an investigation, background, and all this stuff going to leak out. Because it's a high-profile situation. Guys in the NBA, you understand what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all, uh, a lot of y'all in here right now got situations going on in y'all homes. Where you and your wife beating the hell out of each other. Something wrong with y'all right now, you crazy ass. Uh, I'm just telling you. You ain't got no line of respect in your house. No line of, it's just a bunch of arguing every day you get home and a bunch of fight. I already know how y'all, some of y'all get down. And y'all come on here and act like y'all mad at him. Y'all at home doing the same damn thing. I'm telling y'all this. I know how it go. I know how it go. So the, the clowns on YouTube can't fake the funk with me. Because I know what's up with him. I know what's up with him. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go home every day. Go home to, go home to a fight. And go sit up in here and act all high and mighty, man. How, that's how cats is, man. That's how cats is, yo. You understand what I'm saying? I, I'm just telling y'all the truth. Y'all, hey, man, I'm being honest, man. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and it ain't right. It ain't right. It ain't right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't right. It's not right, bro. I'm just saying it's true, man. It's not right, man. It, 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 you know, it ain't right for no woman. And I don't care what Stephen A. Smith and them niggas were scared to say. It ain't, it ain't right for no woman to put her hands on no man either. If a woman put her hands on a man, she need to go too. You know how many times I've seen that, that it don't even be the same energy if a woman punch a man dead in his face? I want y'all to think about this. A woman punch a man dead in his face and it don't be the same energy. It don't. Motherfucker be acting like niggas just supposed to take that shit. You know what I'm saying and just walk off, which they should, but I'm saying everybody just act like, but then when a man hit a woman, oh, he need to go to jail, he's the worst person in the world. Why can't it be that way on both sides? Why can't it be that way on both sides? I I'm just asking the question, you know what I'm saying? Why can't it be even on both sides? Why can't it be just as heinous when a woman hit a man? Oh, why? Because she's not as physically strong as the man. Some of these women is ferocious with it out here. Some of these women is ferocious with this thing out here, man. For when I say ferocious, I'm talking about style, trill, ferocious out here with this thing. That's what I'm talking about. 
Some of these women is absolute monsters with this thing out here. Think I'm playing? They y'all can get mad. I'm telling the truth. I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? Some of these women, man, do go home, man. He was like, man, I don't even know why I want to go home, man. He got to go have about four or five drinks before he even go home. Every single day he go to work, he got to go have about three, four drinks just before he go home. Because of what he got to deal with as soon as he walk in the house. And nobody will talk about that. You know what I'm saying? And that's the part I don't like. I think it should be all be even. I don't think no man should be putting their hands on no woman. I don't think no woman should be putting their hands on no man. It should be lines of mutual respect, period. See what I'm saying? So I, I've seen situations, and I'm just telling y'all what I've seen before. I've seen situations where women hit man all the time, slapping a nigga in the back of his head, slapping him in his face, all kind of stuff, uh, uh, verbally uh, uh, talking all kind of crazy to him, trying to make him feel like nothing. Nobody say nothing about that. And you know, everybody just think you got to accept that. The minute, the moment that that man do something to her, he the worst person in the world, got to go to jail for the rest of his life. I'm just saying, I, I've seen it before. I've seen it before. And so I just didn't think it was fair. I just thought that both people, you know what I'm saying, should be held accountable, man. You know what I'm saying? What I'm, saying? Uh, I'm just keeping it real, bro. Just keeping it real, man. I just don't see the same energy, though, man. I don't see the same energy, man. You know, a woman can a woman can punch a dude in the face four or five times. You won't see the same energy, bro. You won't. You won't. You know? You won't, man. And that's the sad part. Like I wanna see, you know, that that way I think that, you know, um I think everybody will be but yeah, like I said, man, hey, she ain't testifying. So the fact that she not testifying, y'all know what's going on. She not testifying against this man. And so that's what it boils down to, you guys. Uh, he's probably going to get not be arrested, not do no time. And he and the NBA is not going to be able to do nothing to him. Now, and if the NBA and the, check this out, if the NBA does try to blackball him or push him away somehow, he might turn around and sue the NBA. Because he, it wasn't proven that he did anything wrong in the court of law. And you can't just fire a dude based on speculation. You can't, you can't do that. So, you know, I'm just telling y'all. I'm just telling y'all. But yeah, man, my, you know, I, I feel bad about this situation. I feel like it's some dark, dark secrets that, that have gone on between these guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that haven't been revealed to the public, you guys. And I feel like it's just some dark secrets out there, man. That just that they don't want, she don't want pulled up. You know what I'm saying? Because when, once you get into the investigation, phone records, text, uh, all this stuff have to be pulled up. And I don't think she want all of these things pulled up because that's on her name now. You understand what I'm saying? That's on, on her name now. Brandy K. James, we're not saying let that man be. We ain't saying let no nigga be that broke a woman's neck, man. If you if you allegedly broke a woman's neck, man, nah, we ain't saying let that be on this channel, bro. If he did that, he got damn fool too. He's a monster too. We not saying let that man be, cause we don't know. None of us know really exactly what happened. I'm just saying that you know, and I hate when y'all say that. I hate when y'all say that. Y'all act like a man doing something crazy like that is justified. It ain't never justified, man. A, re a real G ain't never supposed to have to pick up his hands. If you a real G, Brandon, you ain't never... You, matter of fact, first of all, if you a real G, your, your wife gonna respect you. She ain't even gonna come at you like that. If you a real G, your wife ain't even gonna come at you like that. If you a real G. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You said, I am, let that man be hoes is crazy. Okay, well, I see what type of time you on, sir. I see what type of time you want, man. You, you just a demon. You a demon and a devil. That's all you is. You's a demon and a devil, sir. That's all you are. And you probably beat the hell out your wife if you have one. You understand what I'm saying? I, I doubt you have one. Since you run around here calling women hoes, I doubt you have a wife. You know, your best friend name is, 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 is probably Jurgens. Is, is that's your best friend. 
You understand? Like I said, you know, when you got lines of respect, ain't no woman going to think about hitting you and doing all that other stuff. She going to love you and treat you with respect. If y'all get into a, a disagreement or something like that, she ain't going to violate you and try and disrespect. She's going to have too much respect for you as a man and to try to, you know what I'm saying, come at you and as her man and to try to come at you like that. As soon as a woman do that, man, it's time to go. You know what I'm saying? It's over with. You know? You're supposed to re respect your man. Love your man. You know? I'm just telling y'all that, that that dude right there, he probably go beat the hell out of any girl he around. That's why he's, that's why he's single. Talking like that, the way he talking. He talking like a straight clown. I'm just saying. You said just logging in what? Oh, yeah, she she not cooperate. He going to walk free. She not cooperating with the police. You, you heard what I said. Anyways, you guys let me know what y'all think. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Y'all know what's up, man. She not cooperating with those police. Holla. Y'all know what it is, man. <laughs> y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know what it is. So I'm just letting y'all know what's up. You know? Yeah, man. You say she's enabling this monster, but have you ever thought about if she did something that she don't want to be revealed either in this case? Have you ever thought about it like that, sir? To the dude who said that she's enabling this monster? Right? So he may be a monster, but do you have you thought about that she don't want something that she may have done to be revealed? Y'all never know, man. You never know, man. You know? Because once you do investigations, it's called an investigation for a reason. When you investigate, you don't just investigate one side. You investigate the whole history to try to figure out what led up to this and what happened. And she don't want that in the public because it's pub it'll be public information. Some people don't want their private life put in the public like that. Because if it's some things that can ruin your reputation and ruin opportunities for you going along, along the way that you don't want put out there, you know, I'm just saying. And that's just, it is what it is. You know? So, for all y'all keep saying, oh, man, they're going to get him back Some Ain't nothing going to happen to this dude, man. Ain't not a damn thing going to happen to that dude. I'm telling y'all this series. And this brother right here, either he going to end back up with her or they just going to go apart. And she going to be taken care of. You know what I'm talking about. Financially. That's how I feel about it. That's my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? That's my opinion. Right? You said it depends on how badly she was. Well, they have to be able to prove that she did it. She, had a, she has a broken neck, sir. According to the reports. But it had, they have to prove that he did it. If they can't prove he did it, if they were inside a room with no camera and they can't prove he did it, what, what, what are you going to say? If they can't prove he did it, what, what are you going to say? What are they going to say? See, this type of stuff, y'all got to help make sense. Can't, can't suspend them if you don't have no evidence. To the brother who said he's going to suspend him 20 games, that ain't nothing. 20 games, Adam Silver will be out if he only suspend him 20 games. They just suspended Miles Bridges for damn near the whole season he was held out. And, and y'all thought it was a 20-game suspension. He really was gone for the whole season. So, no. And they can't suspend him. They can only suspend him if he's convicted of something. That's the reason why you might see Michael Irvin. I don't know if he can sue ESPN or not for wrongful termination. I mean, I'm just keeping it real with y'all, right? I'm just keeping it real with y'all, right? She, she can say that. She can say, hey, I broke my own neck. I fell and did this, and he didn't do nothing to me. She can say that, and it's all, and the NBA can't do nothing. Can't do nothing. That's why they that's why they didn't go ahead and do it and fire him now. What do you think? The NBA don't want to get this dude off their hands if they could. Mm -hmm. They know it's a bad press for them. And he ain't no superstar player. 
he ain't nobody for them to say, all right, man, he, he ain't going to hurt or help the the the, the um, uh, money of the NBA, whether he play or not play. So he easy to to to, expect, to be expendable uh, if they wanted to do that. But the problem is you don't want to do that because you open yourself up to libel. And now the league will have to pay more money if he come back and sue for wrongful termination and he can get a grip. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you see the Houston Rockets trying to trade this dude. He's trying to trade him. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I appreciate everybody supporting this video, man. Make sure y'all follow me on Rumble, man. The link to my Rumble channel will be in the comment section below. And also, man, if y'all not subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button two times. On the second time, y'all see an all button. Click the all button, y'all, and that way y'all will get all the updates, man. Again, it's people that are, are fans. It's people that are subscribers. It's people that are supporters, man. I appreciate all of y'all, but I truly appreciate the people who are supporters. Again, the supporters going to share the video on Twitter, Facebook, social media. Share this video. The supporters are going to like the video. The supporters are going to uh, support you on your, your financial side. All of this stuff, that's what supporters do. So I appreciate all the people who support what I got going on, man. Y'all know what to do. The link will be pinned at the top of the comment section. Um, salute to the brother who did send a donation during the stream. And I'll see y'all in a little while later on with another video, man. So make sure y'all subscribe and y'all stay locked in because I will. I have more news, big news coming up for y'all today about something else. So make sure y'all subscribe because I got a major story coming up to y'all about something else today. Holla. And I'll holla back.